Kawasaki have had massive racing success with the ZX-10R. They have won seven of the last eight World Superbike Championships and the last six on the trot with Johnny Ray at the handlebars. This is the 2021 iteration of that bike and it's an absolute weapon. The last major update to this bike was in 2016. The new one's immediately obvious because of the radical changes to the bodywork, not least of all that super aggressive new front fairing. So the changes in the bodywork aren't just for looks. Kawasaki claim a 17% increase in downforce, thanks in large part to the integrated winglets on the front of that new fairing. Kawasaki also claiming a 7% decrease in drag, but that's actually a rider-bike combination they're talking about there. For one thing, the screen's steeper and taller. The ergonomics have changed quite a bit. The foot pegs are higher, the handlebars are wider and further away, and there's even a little bump in the back of the seat to push your hips up when you're in a full racing tuck. The engine makes pretty much the same power and torque figures as the outgoing model, but of course this is now Euro 5 compliant, so that's a pretty neat trick. Even though the gear ratios on this are slightly revised, uh, the first three gears are shorter to give it that bit of extra punch to keep up with the V-twins on the track coming out of slower corners. Actually, on the road, it's not intimidating in any way. In fact, it's quite tame low down. And to make it nicer to use on the road, it's got a whole bunch of really nice features. It's got the um, TFT display from the H2 range. It's got heated handlebar grips if you spec that. It's got an up-down quick shifter. It's got Bluetooth connectivity and you can uh, attach it to your phone and use the Kawasaki Rideology app. Sports bike sales have been in decline for a while, but Kawasaki have completely bucked that trend. They've totally sold out of these. So if you want one, I will put your name down quick. At 26 grand plus on-road costs, I think good value for money.